Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4, the latest update from Apple bringing a ton of new features and changes to the iPhone. This is probably one of the biggest updates to iOS 18 and it's actually pretty cool. So in today's video, I will show you guys a few different things that I think you should do once you have installed iOS 18.4 on your device. Now, the first thing, if you have installed any of the betas of iOS 18.4, I suggest that you go to your settings and you go under general, then go to software update. Right here, you will have the chance to actually disable the beta updates if you no longer want to keep installing betas on your device. Most likely, very, very soon, there will be a new update for iOS 18.5 beta 1. So if you don't just want to jump on the first beta, which is probably the best thing not to do, don't install the first beta anytime, just wait at least for a second beta before things get more stable. So I would suggest you go here to the beta updates and turn them off. Now, another thing I suggest you do right here is turn on automatic updates. Now, in the meantime, between iOS 18.4 and the release of iOS 18.5, to the public, which most likely be more than one month, probably around the mid or towards the end of May, we will have a release of iOS 18.5 to the public. In the meantime, there will be new minor updates released to fix security bugs and things like that, which are really important. So I suggest that you make sure that you have updates, security responses enabled for your device. So you don't have to bother with those smaller updates. They will be installed automatically on your iPhone. Now, another thing you must do right here under the general settings is check for a carrier update. Right now that the iOS 18.4 is out to the public, there will be, of course, carrier updates for a lot of carriers. It doesn't mean that there will be for everyone, but most likely a lot of carriers will release updates. Now, the way to install carrier updates on your device is very simple. You go to the general settings, just go to the about section, stay there for about 10 seconds. And if there is a carrier update for a device, you will see a pop up on the screen right here. All you have to do is just tap that to update and you're good to go. It doesn't reboot your iPhone or anything. It just will take a couple of seconds and you have a new carrier update installed on your iPhone, which is really important for the seller of your iPhone. Now, another thing I suggest you always do after you update your iPhone is check the battery health of your device. And this is actually really important. So head on to battery right here in the settings and then go to battery health. Now, why I say this is important is because most of the time the battery maximum capacity won't update. It will update once you update your device because that is the time when iOS will recheck all the components of your iPhone. And that is when it shows you the real battery health of your iPhone. Phone. Like the battery health of my iPhone here has actually been stuck on 91%. If you have been following my videos, you have seen this. It's probably around four months now since it has been at 91%, even though the cycle count is actually at 608, which is really weird. And most likely in one of the updates that I will install on my iPhone, this will drop most likely four or five percentages down. And why I say it's important to check it is because you have a device at around 80% battery health and you update, it drops below 80%. That is the time, of course, that you need to service the battery of your iPhone because it won't work properly. So if you don't check it and it just has dropped and you don't notice it, it will of course have you will actually have a way worse experience using your iPhone because it does slow it down a lot. So make sure you always check your battery health after updating your iPhone. Now with these updates that actually Apple has been recently releasing, the AI features, the Apple intelligence features have been turning on automatically for a lot of users. I know that iPhone users that don't actually use Apple intelligence and they just disable it on their device. You can do that by using this switch right here. But I've heard a lot of comments from users having AI turned on on their iPhone, even though they had disabled it before, but once they update, it will turn it on back again. So make sure you go to your settings, go under, under Apple Intelligence and Siri and check if Apple Intelligence is turned off or not. If you had it turned off before and it's turned on now by the update, you can go ahead and switch it off again.
Now, another thing that you must do is update your apps once you have updated your device. Most of the popular apps will get updates after an update for iOS has been released to the public. And those are really important updates as of course the apps will be updated to function better with the new update and be more compatible with the new update. So you should always update your apps and must make sure that you have all of your apps up to date. Of course, you can do that by using your account here on the app store. Or if you just don't want to bother with that, you can always go to your settings and then head on under apps here. And under the app store, you will have a switch here for automatic downloads and you will have here app updates. You turn this on and it will update your apps automatically. So you don't have to actually bother with your apps being updated. They will be updated once an update is out. And as you probably know, with iOS 18.4, Apple has added a new feature for notifications. This is of course for Apple intelligence devices prioritize notifications right there. You can turn it on, but then you will also have a list of all of your apps. Now you maybe don't want to have priority notifications from all of your apps, just hitting up your lock screen. What you can do here and what I suggest you do is go ahead and check the list of the apps that you have and just choose to have priority notifications turned on for the apps that are actually really, really important. And you believe you need to have priority notifications from those apps. Otherwise, you will have this list right here. We'll have switches where you can just go ahead and turn on or off any of the priority notifications. And as with every other update, what I suggest you guys do once you have updated your iPhone to a new software release, I suggest that you go ahead and check your privacy settings. It's always a good chance right now after you have updated to check the privacy settings because they are very, very important, of course for the privacy of your data and everything on your device. First of all, location services, if you use it and have it always turned on, check the apps right here because they will also drain a ton of battery. So make sure you check all of your apps and see how you have actually set up location services for these apps. Like if I go to an app right here and it has just like location turned on all the time and precise location, that app will actually use a lot of battery. So make sure you actually f follow these steps and just set up the privacy here for the location services the way it should be. And you will have other things here that are really important like tracking, check here, which apps are able to track you if you have any apps there that you don't want to, you can go ahead and switch them off. Then you will have here apps that have access to your files and folders. And of course, things like the Bluetooth, your camera, you will have here your microphone. These are really, really important. You must go here and check these apps and make sure that you turn off the apps. You don't want to have access to any of uh, these things on your device because a lot of times when setting up an app, you might just accidentally allow an app to have access to something you don't want to. Of course, you're rushing to set up an app that can happen. So now is a good time to go ahead and check your privacy settings and see if everything is configured the way it should be. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the things that I suggest you do immediately after you have updated your device to iOS 18.4. Again, iOS 18.4 is an amazing update with a ton of new features and changes, but always make sure that you do these things first after you have gone through the new features and changes of a new software update. So that's basically it. Make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you want to see more iOS 18.4 videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.